Hey folks, Ken and the Data Monkey back again for another episode of Monkey Shorts. And in this episode, I thought that I would actually go and pick up from a comment that uh, Danny Martins left me on episode three, where Danny has basically said, hey, I've got a pivot table and every time I build one, I got to customize it to get it out of this horrible compact form that's the default into the format that I actually like. Wouldn't it be really nice if there was a way that I could actually go and set Excel to build the pivot table I want by default with the correct layout? And the good news is there absolutely is a way to do that. So let's go and take a quick look here. I've got a nice little pivot table. It's all built up in the default way that a pivot table gets presented. Compact form, subtotals at the top, grand totals everywhere, and I want to change it. So my preferred format looks like this. I'm going to go with report layout with outline form. I prefer my subtotals at the bottom of the group, and I would prefer to see that my grand totals are on for columns only. So that's what I'd like my pivot table to look like as I start building it without having to make all those changes. So now the good news is this option has actually existed since Excel 2016. It's just a lot of people don't know about it because it's buried in the Excel options. So I'm gonna go navigate to the Excel options right now. I'm gonna press Alt, we're gonna keyboard this. Okay, that brings up the menu commands here. I need to go into file options, which I can get to by going FT. And that will actually get me right into the Excel options form. Alternately, you can scroll all the way to the bottom of the files list. Now, we need to go into data edit default layout. And right here, this is where your default layout for your pivot table is configured. If you are selecting a cell inside your pivot table before you come in here, you can just click import and boom, there we go. Subtotals at the bottom, grand totals on for columns only, report layout and outline form. Pretty awesome and easy. In addition, I can also though go and configure this with other things. Like maybe I want to show zeros for empty cells or I don't want auto fit to be on by default. I'm gonna say okay and OK, and OK one more time. And now I'm going to go and build myself a nice quick pivot table. So from the data model, it works with standard pivot tables as well, of course. I'm going to go with sales. I'll put my class and my category on rows, my fiscal year on my columns. And then, of course, because I didn't have auto fit set up, I need to resize these to about the right width and this guy too. And just like that, my pivot table is being built in the correct format right off the bat, just the way I want it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing to know about this though, the options that you have to configure in this thing here are always about the global pivot table. In episode three, I showed how you can actually customize field settings granularly. You can't do that because every field is different. It's only for the global pivot table options. Regardless, I hope this helps you up your pivot table game a bit, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.